Two 12 year old girls stabbed one of their classmates 19 times as an act of pure devotion to Slender. Wait, this is real? Whatever that. At this point, I can see it, and he can see me. Other than that, that dude got jumped in that video, and I hope that won't be the same for us, man. Kate better be alive. Are we going up? All right. I wonder did Slenderman kidnap all these kids? I said all these kids. He definitely kidnapped Charlie, but I feel like he definitely got more kids. Twelve. The house had to go. They can't save me anymore. Please tell me in the comments what the true story is, and maybe I'll find out, but I know I can simply go to a video, but I want to know what the heck happened. Yeah, we are going up, bro. Yeah, this, yeah. I feel a boss battle coming. The tower. Ain't that what I'm supposed to go? Can I go up here? Ah, nope. Daytime, we're good, but you know how this goes. It's probably gonna get night hella dark. Night hella dark. It's going to get dark hella quick. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. He said the house had to go, so. I wonder where did he go? I don't like the silence, but I gotta deal with this. What was the point of me going up the hill if I just gotta go down? That's weird. Oh, I see a building. I see a building. What's that? Is that where that guy's at? Or she? We know Kate got kidnapped when she got yeeted out that freaking... Wait, did my dumbass just go in a circle? I did! Ah! That's probably why it got quiet. It was like, um, bro, where are you going? This is the wrong route. So I was supposed to go up here. But I can't make it up there. Where else am I supposed to go? Should I go down here, right? That says something, but... Wait, does that say beginning? It does. Maybe that was just what I was supposed to see. But my mission is to get... Wait, what is my mission? Search for Kate's whereabouts. No shit! No, no, no shot. No shot at all. So I'm out here. Oh! I can't read that. Bitch, is you blind? Nah, I can't read that, but I can't see that. All I see is 1895. That's all I can see. Okay, got a flashlight back. Oh, we don't have to do that freaking generator thing. Oh, cut! No, don't we don't. D stop! It's calm, why, why? Calm down, calm down, calm down. What's this? Meet me by the street in an hour. Leave everything else behind. I'll explain everything. I know how to fix all of this. Don't tell Lauren about me. CR. I doubt this is specifically for me, but maybe it is. I don't know. It's weird that Slender knew that he left notes and he just left there. What the heck? There's writings on the wall. And I can't read this, so. It makes me think. Oh. I know damn well that wasn't my echo. I didn't even. I know that wasn't my footsteps. I know that wasn't me. And if it were me, that's bull crap. This echo is horrible. I didn't even get to read the thing. I know I'd be able to. Right. Whoa! What the shit? This is not. What the fuck? Am I hallucinating? No, this could not be real. There's no way there's a forest fire. We would have saw the shit. We would have saw the smoke. This doesn't make any sense. Am I? Whoa! What was? No, no. Run, just run. What the heck was that? That was not slender. No. Forget this. I don't know where to go. That's blocked off. Stop. Oh my! No, he has tentacles. He has tentacles. No. No, this is no. This is getting freaky. No. Bro, is there more than? What? What do you want? No. I don't know where to go. This is this kid. This kid. Oh shit! No! Do I? I don't want to get close to him, but I don't know where to go. There's so much shit. No! Go up. Go. Stop. Stop doing this, please. Stop. Stop. Go up. There we go. We're going up. Go up. <laughs> No! Stop! I'm literally sweating already! What the- No, this sucks. No, this is actually- Why is he going- oh, I thought he wasn't powerful in the daytime! Oh! I found a building! I found a building! Go! Please don't be dark in here! Ah! 
emergency public warning system is a protocol system. Severe weather. Amber alerts. Amber alerts? I picked up a key. I will stay here for a full five minutes. I don't give a sh What the heck? I'm waiting for him to open the door. If he goes that way, I go this way. If he goes that way, I go left. Is it that one thing that would shank me? But this sounds like a monster. I'm scared to move. I'm actually afraid to move. I hear something. But only only way we could only thing we could do is push forward. Oh. That was the door I that this nigga turned off his What killed me? I literally... No, we're gonna see what chased me. What the heck? Go, just run. Just run. We're not, I'm not scared anymore. Just don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back, David. He's chasing us. I don't know why this dumbass like I talked off his life, but he did. Whoa! What do I do? I'm so sorry. What do I do? Me. You skinwalker, bro. He knocked me out and put me in a basement with his skinwalker. We we good? We good? I'm not reading this. Y'all think I'm about to read with a skinwalker in my basement? No, I'm not doing this. He's about to attack me. That's bullshit. What? No, I thought he left and he appeared. He's gonna kill me. I know he is. Forget this shit. I don't. He's gonna kill me. Okay, this is pretty exciting, blah, blah, blah. I know Kate got kidnapped and the guy she was talking to, or girl, the person she was talking to, or emailing, was... It's gone. Kate! Kate! It's dark as hell. Kate. Wait, are we in that one house? Not the, uh, the first house, but the second house we we went to in the first video. Is this? I'm so dark, I feel a jump scare coming. I'm about to scream. I'm about to scream! Stop crying, I'm trying to find you! Is that Kate? Wait! What the? Is that Kate? That's us. Are we dead? Is this game? This is gonna be a short ass video. It's gonna be hella embarrassing if this is it. <laughs> That's it? That was Kate? It says there's a question mark. What is that question mark? No. 
I'm going to Google. Hello, and welcome to the next installment of Law & Order, the video series where I look at and unpack stories from games. The game's protagonist, Lauren, has parked a car at the top of her friend Kate's driveway. We was a female this entire- Oh, I feel hella sexy! Walks down the driveway, she spots another car, completely abandoned. She also finds a missing persons poster for a child named Charlie Matheson Jr. After reaching the house, Lauren realises Kate isn't there, and the house, it appears, has been ransacked. Not only that, but creepy drawings adorn the walls of the house, depicting a very tall, thin individual. Lauren eventually finds a key which leads her to Kate's bedroom upstairs. Kate's bedroom, though, are more manic drawings and messages on the walls. These messages seem to indicate a route to safety in the form of a nearby radio tower. Lauren picks up a note and hears a scream, presumed to be Kate, coming from the woods behind the house. She follows the path and manages to see where she's going through the help of generators and lights. This path leads to the burnt out remains of a He keeps saying his path, but is it? Was, was we playing as a nigga or a female? Damn! I'm sorry I keep pausing, but I'm, I'm mad at myself! The path leads to the burnt out remains of a house in the woods. Inside this house is a very disfigured, grotesque, and almost zombified creature, which after Lauren approaches it, disappears. Lauren finally finds her way to Oakside Park, where, despite being pursued by the tall humanoid creature from Kate's drawings, she finds eight pages of these drawings completed by Kate. After collecting all eight pages, Lauren is captured by Slenderman and teleported to a different area. Waking up after being unconscious, Lauren discovers that this area is the now shut down Coleman Mine. The only way is up, and in order to power the elevator, Lauren needs to activate six generators. Nothing is that simple though, and Lauren is pursued not only by Slenderman, but also by a strange creature named the Chaser, which suffers from photophobia a super sensitivity to bright light. The chaser? Nonetheless, despite such opposition, Lauren manages to activate the elevator to safety. Lauren makes her way around the path in the hills and finds an old cave, which leads her to an abandoned building. Inside though is a TV with, along with two videotapes. The first videotape is footage captured by a man who refers to himself on the tape only as CR. The second tape shows Kate in her bedroom being tormented by Slenderman. I knew it. Lauren pushes on towards the radio tower. After entering a cave, Lauren finds writing scrawl on the walls stating that the fire is the answer. She smells burning and sees an orange glow. It seems that the forest is on fire and after being pursued once again by Slenderman, Lauren makes it to the radio tower. After following a hallway and being chased by something, Lauren finds the charred remains of someone along with a video camera which details what happened to Kate and to this person. Lights go out and Lauren is attacked by the creature from the burnt house. She isn't dead though, she's only knocked out and has been dragged into said burnt house. The creature is sat by the steps leading up, watching Lauren. Eventually the creature vanishes and Lauren heads upstairs to escape. She hears crying though and instead of leaving she goes to check it out. It's Kate. Getting closer, Kate transforms into and reveals that she is the chaser from the mines. What? Lauren is killed by Kate and is dragged away. Lauren's camera then dies. The game then ends. So a bit to unpack here but let's start with the origins of Slender Man. Origins? Wait, hold up. <laughs> so that was Kate, but she was also the chaser. Okay, and probably that burnt guy we saw was CR. Let's talk about this creepy lanky dude. Slender Man is considered to be a supernatural humanoid creature with very unique abilities. As with any creepy pasta meme, community made mythos, or open source storytelling, the mythos can become a bit muddy. However, with Slender Man, it's a little bit more straightforward. The community and I guess fans of Slender Man protected the basis for the story of Slender Man and protected it from getting out of hand or too ridiculous, as opposed to something like the back rooms, which has quite frankly been destroyed by too much meddling. It's not even like me being lazy to- ah! I forgot about that game. Slender Man has no real history apart from sightings stretching back to the 1600s and the few sightings from the early 1900s. Slender Man sightings usually coincide or are linked with child disappearances. This all began when a web forum named Something Awful featured a forum asking for ideas for modern myths to terrify people. A user named Eric Knudsen, going by a pseudonym Victor Surge, posted this photograph stating that 14 children and the photographer went missing. Damn. This small but sinister story ended up going viral and capturing people's imaginations and people began to write stories and feature video games, such as The Arrival, along with movies. Along with the rise in popularity came controversy though as in 2014, two 12 year old girls stabbed one of their classmates 19 times as an act of pure devotion to Slender. Wait, this shit's real? Wait, 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 no, I'm not saying he's real, but someone, what? 2014, 
two 12 year old girls stabbed one of their classmates 19 times as an act of pure devotion to Slender Man. 19. The girl survived and these two girls were incarcerated in a mental hospital under the grounds of insanity. Despite careful development of the Slender Man mythos, there are things which are considered to be canon and non-canon. I'm not going to discuss them too deeply in this video, but if you want to visit the Slender Man wiki then I'll link it below in the description. There's a wiki?! He possesses the ability to teleport great distances. This has been speculated upon to relate to quantum theory and that Slender Man is a fourth dimensional being, but as of yet, this again is unconfirmed. Nah, he could teleport. He possesses tentacles or tendrils, which he uses alongside his ability to hide amongst trees with these tentacles acting as branches. Slender Man uses mind control to control what are known as proxies, which are essentially victims of Slender Man who still have some free will left. Proxies. However, Slender Man is able to control these proxies to complete what he wants to do. Oh. Victims of Slender Man are traditionally young children, but adults are not exactly considered safe from Slender Man's influence. In the arrival, Slender Man used a few proxies. These proxies were actually completely unaware of their true nature and who they were, and this is because Slender Man had suppressed their memories. They will then become what is essentially a vessel for Slender Man's mind, and this is when he takes full control of the proxy. There is apparently a ranking system when it comes to proxies. I'm not going to discuss them in detail here though. But the proxies we see in the game are rank 1, or a type of proxy known as Hallowed, which exists purely to harass people who run away or try to escape. These proxies will make more sense and have more relevance later on, but for now let's discuss what happened to Kate and CR. To gain an understanding of what went on in Kate's house and in the forest, the game gives us documents along with the environment in order to piece together the facts. CR arrives at Kate's house. Kate actually lives there alone since her mother Beth died not too long ago. Her and CR went out into the woods as planned, but eventually they managed to get separated and CR passed out after being surrounded by what he thought were monsters and he woke up hours later in some tall grass. CR wrote and told Kate in an email that he went back to her house and saw her there, not watching, but staring at the television. He tried to get her attention, but he couldn't, so he left. He eventually emailed Kate after unsuccessfully trying to call her, so he went back to Kate's house again. He found Kate in the park behind her house, along with a broken video camera and a bag full of weird drawings. CR eventually gets inside the family chapel and sees Slender Man stood behind him. And then he meets the zombie-like monster that Lauren saw inside the burnt house. It's Charlie. Remember I spoke about proxies? Well, Charlie was one of the Slender Man's proxies. CR makes a run for it and is chased by Charlie, but CR drops the camera and as a result loses his evidence. Oh. He runs back to Kate's house and tells her that they need to go to the radio tower. She reluctantly follows him there and when they get there, CR has lost his mind. He's gone completely insane. He douses himself in gasoline and tells Kate to do the same. The only way to free themselves is to kill themselves. Kate refuses and leaves, but CR follows through on his objective and burns himself alive, leading to Lauren eventually finding his body at the end of the game. A recorder next to CR gives us an idea of what happened. That was CR. This nigga can make you go crazy. He can teleport. He has tentacles. The nigga's seven foot. Nigga got a nice ass suit. What else can this nigga do? This dude is literally OP as hell. He can make earthquakes. Like, what the hell? He literally... The only way for you to beat this nigga is to off yourself. And that's... If I saw someone... Me per... Now let me chill. Let me chill. I didn't understand though, so I was confused. So after Kate left CR, she made her way back to her house. Madness began to grip Kate though, and she started drawing the pictures of Slender Man. Not just on paper, but on the walls. Frantic messages warning of Slender Man should anyone find them. One evening, Kate was drawing Slender Man whilst on her bed when she got a visit from Slender Man. She ran around the house trying to shut all the windows and lock the doors, but it was no use. Slender Man was already inside the house. She ran up to her bedroom and it's not clear whether she was thrown or jumped out of the bedroom window, but either way she ran into the woods behind her house. Now it's at this time that Kate's childhood friend Lauren arrives at the house after Kate called her to come and keep her company and to help her move house. As we know though, when Lauren got there, Kate was long gone. Kate's scream indicates that she had been caught by Slender Man and had been proxified. She would now bend to the will of Slender Man. She would wear a mask and would become the chaser. The same chaser that pursued Lauren in the Coleman mine. Wow. But again, that's it for another Law and Order video. If you enjoyed this one, then go ahead and hit the like button and comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you aren't already, but for now, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to that dude. That dude explained that shit hella nice. That's that was slender the arrival. I'm sorry I had it. Basically, I <laughs> played this game for like five minutes and just watched the entire video for the rest. Don't call me lazy, but I didn't know that was going to end like that. I thought I had like two more stages left and I thought those was going to be like...
10 minutes each. Oh man, that, what a game. If there's more Slender Man games out there, please tell me. <sighs> this stuff is still getting to me. Two 12 year olds stabbed the girl 19 times. And the girl, so I'm more surprised that the girl survived. No disrespect. 19 times is crazy. But other than that, I'll catch y'all guys tomorrow, man. Don't say anything racist. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all guys tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>